Well then. Oh, are we starting? Yes. Right. I had to how? postpone my team meeting. Um, you ever noticed how M&Ms always taste better if you're taking them from someone else? Honestly though, these caramel M&Ms, just as good as when I steal them from Abby, so. I thought you said you were only gonna do that. Oh, sorry. Um, this definitely wasn't planned. For this tour, we are playing 15 shows. It has a very positive effect on your you know, playing ability. It's kind of a hyper incubation of talent. But at the same time, you know, your time to relax is suddenly the time that you would be sleeping. Walden Green is incredibly smart, sarcastic, and self-aware. In this episode, he'll be sharing some of his thoughts on the PGRA environment. You know, when normally you would have, whatever, 1 to 4 p.m. to cool down, suddenly you're cooling down from 1 to 4 a.m. And, um, darn, I just picked those numbers at random, but they actually worked out quite nicely, didn't they? has been turned on the director. Yeah. I touch your nose. <laughs> Bastion is like a giant teddy bear. He's extremely lovable and charming, but his naivety can cause him to make some poor decisions. His budding relationship with Becca came as no surprise to some, as we'll soon come to find out. With only one day of tour in the books, they too seem to be getting off to a pretty dull start. It's uh, very normal for people to take naps. You know, most of it happens on the bus, because... Uh, it's not happening in the hotels. Uh, the effects are just beginning. How are you feeling after not getting enough sleep? You know, I actually, I went to bed at 1.30. So I actually got plenty well. of sleep, so. How many hours of sleep do you think you need uh, daily on tour? A solid at least six. No, Sophie, like how many hours of sleep did you get last night? I got five, but I prefer at least like ten. <laughs> Sophie is sweet and well-rounded, but her provocative behavior can sometimes bring out tension within the group. What? At what point in the tour do you expect that sleep deprivation will begin to affect your mood? Never. Or already. Plenty of things affect my mood, because I'm just like, very insecure. But sleep deprivation will not be one of them. You want to get a dog? Let's go get a dog. As you can probably tell, this gig is much different than our gig from day one. Instead of playing on a massive stage, we're playing on an outdoor patio for a small group of friends and family. But gigs like these are super important. It's the perfect time for us to experiment with the songs and see how the audience reacts, ultimately making us better performers. Perfect. Two dogs left. We're out here, man. After our outdoor patio barbecue, we took the bus over to one of Bastion's relatives' house for another backyard gig to end the day. I know, it's people out there just falling out of our Be cool, be your boys, we know it. Baby, I'll take you anyway, you want to How you doing? Ben. What? 
Why are you trying to do this to her? I just want to know what's oh happening. Yeah, I you just have to kiss her. You must care about your song. It's not final. Okay. Yeah, this is good. You're doing a great job. Yes, I'm aware. Leave me alone. I need so much. <laughs> How was the gig? It was okay, you know. Um, little rough patches. I fucking hate Ben Teal's. We like, oh, you know, we're all tired and just didn't rehearse, so. But other than that, how did you think it went? Becca is a charming ball of energy who is always trying to brighten everyone's spirits. She can sometimes become overwhelmed by her own emotions. Sleep yeah, she's insane. Crockett. I'm glad to capture that. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you were here to capture it. Yeah. So. Gotcha, covered. I'm gonna go clean up. Walden is stealing all the DC cables so that no one can get a keyboard to practice for the song that we have to like play. I confiscated all of the keyboard cables so that um. Oh, also your pedal board is missing its power cable. I will return it to you tomorrow. Hi. You can see him on the fucking phone right now, being a little bitch. We've been silently trying to kill each other. Actually, tried strangling him last night in the bed, but I fell asleep before that could happen. Sophie Gilbert. Sophie's that like that friend. Like, you know when you have a friend of a friend? That's like Sophie and thing. I'm redoing my face oh, yeah. because I sweat off a lot of my makeup today. I'm just gonna start over. So when I doubt, start over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Becca, Becca, Becca. Becca needs to let go of a lot. Becca needs to go to therapy. Lesson. This here is either a sure SM58 57, or a facsimile thereof. Okay. The, the genius of this microphone is its ability to disregard background sounds. So if I'm here, nothing. If I'm here, still kind of nothing. If I'm here, something. If I'm here, everything. Listen to the difference. Hello, Garrett. Hello, Garrett. Hello. Do you hear the difference? Yeah. Not on the mic. Okay. Hello, Paul. Thank you. Good, good. Bastion. Ooh. Um, well, I mean, you know, we know where we stand on that one, but his um, most negative character trait is definitely his tendency to piss Tess Turner when apparently it didn't mean anything to him, and then not talk to her about it for a week. I'm going crazy, dude. I'm going fucking crazy. I was just tuning this guitar, I was looking down at the pedal, and it was all getting all. It was just fucking didn't look real, man.
Hill, Walden. One of the Can you talk for a minute just about Becca and Bashi in general? And how you feel about that relationship? It's very disturbing to me. It feels like they're both falling into something that neither of them really wants. They're both desperate for different reasons. I don't think it's gonna work out well for any parties involved, and especially not the people that are gonna have to be around it. Charlie gave me three grams of melatonin last night. She knocked, oh my god. But then I woke up at like 9.30, so like, I, like I think I'm just going through the motions right now. You're in 214, by the way. I literally can't stop freaking out. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Tess Lobel, I gotta say, I used to hate Tess Lobel, but she's really grown on me. She's a lot more mature now. She's definitely come into her own as a performer and as a human being. Oh my god, are you serious? Give me a fucking room key, dude. Ready? What the fuck? Karate Kid. Ow! Hand me the fucking room key. What? Stop it, you're turning me on. Aren't there two of... Oh. Yeah. Alright, that's my cue. You're like... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what? I, fuck Come here. you. You're Come just gonna do it down your hair. Come here, you motherfucker. It's gonna Come suffocate on. him. Put down my down. Get over here, you motherfucker. Oh, you can see me in the. Oh, gross. Come on. Liam Orr. Now, Liam Orr definitely comes off as an asshole to like all people. But like he reminds me of my dad kind of, so I like I don't really mind it per se. Yeah. Wh what? Mm-hmm. That like kinda like smart al alecky like thing that they both do. What's with the bottles and the fucking tit? <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's all I had to say. Oh, are you serious? I like that feeling. Like, that's very reassuring. Dude, I'm fucking 17. I don't want to be sucking on a tit. <laughs> it's just like, pretend it's like a girl's tit. Or a guy's, you know, whatever. Here's why that's wrong. I feel like I'm getting sustenance from this tit. No. The teat of the bottle is giving me sustenance. No, it's just a really nice oral fixation, you know? Like... Oof. Oof. Where do we start with this one? If I had to describe Cole Turner, darn, that's, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to come back to Cole because uh, with Cole, I really have to be in the right mood to insult him. Fuck you. Wow. Um, I, I don't know. Fuck, dude. Just nothing's coming. I can't out of the fucking pressure. stand you. You're always fucking me all the fucking time. On tour, off tour, fuck you. Fuck you so fucking hard.
Teolas. He's great. He's making this movie. I don't want to insult him because uh, I feel like he's going to put bad stuff that I'm saying in the final cut. Goddamn. I sound like Paul Green right now. Up next on Rhapsody Road, the band travels down to the New Jersey shore to perform with a very special artist. Some students get caught breaking the rules that could get them thrown off tour. Why are you guys here? A bed check, you have to, I need to know where you guys are, because God forbid something happens. <laughs> oh. Tune in next time.